Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Entity linking and relation extraction are fundamental tasks in natural language processing or NLP, serving as critical components in wide range of applications. In this video, we are going to install Relic, which is a retriever reader architecture for both EL and RE. EL stands for Entity Linking and RE stands for Relation Extractions. Given an input text, the retriever module undertakes the identification of candidate entities or relations that could potentially appear within the text. And then the reader module is tasked to discern the pertinent or relevant retrieved entities or relations and establish their alignment with the corresponding textual spans. In this model, they have also put forward an innovative input representation that incorporates the candidate entities or relations alongside the text, making it possible to link entities or extract relations in a single forward pass and to fully leverage pre-trained language model contextualization capabilities. Another good thing is that we can get this model installed on Google Colab on the free tier which means T4 GPU and you don't need any expensive hardware for this. So let's go to my Google Colab and then we will get it installed and then we will see how exactly this works. Now the installation is fairly straightforward so let me walk you through it. First up let's install Relic with pip in our Google Colab and before that make sure that in the runtime you have changed the runtime to T4 GPU. That's done and now let's click on save and remember what we are doing here is we are installing Relic which is a lightweight and fast model for entity linking and relation extractions and there are two components to it. First is a retriever and a reader. The retriever is responsible for re retrieving relevant documents from a large collection while the reader is responsible for extracting entities and relations from the retrieved documents. This relic can be used with the from pre-trained method to load a pre-trained pipeline and we will see it shortly. So it is installing relic. There are a lot of things to be installed almost there. And Relic is installed. Let's restart the session to get everything settled in. In this environment, let's create another cell, import the libraries which we have installed that includes Torch and Relic, and also set up a clean memory function. This shouldn't take too long. Okay, next up, as it installs, we need to do the entity linking. Again, entity linking is the task that involves identifying and linking entities mentioned in a text to a corresponding knowledge base entry, usually Wikipedia or any other corpora of the text. And we are going to use the model from Hugging Face which I just showed you this one. This is a model which we are going to use and it is, a, it is an entity linking pipeline for Relic that features the E5 small version 2 retriever and Dibalta V3 base reader both fine-tuned on the IDACON dataset and uses around 5.9 million entities from Wikipedia as knowledge base. So in this example, what we are going to do, we are going to load the pipeline on a GPU with half precision for all components, the reader, retriever and the index on the data. Okay, so that is uh, what we need to do. So let me use that command in our Colab. As I mentioned earlier, we are just going to use a pre-trained one. So we are just using pre-trained. We are referring to that uh, hugging face um, repo. Device is CUDA. This is a half precision. Full is 32. And then we are skipping the metadata just to save some of the memory. So let me run it. It is running at the moment. So let's wait for it to load. There it goes. It is loading config.yaml. It is also telling us all the metadata and stuff. And this is where it is loading the whole pipeline. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. And that is done. Now in this example, we are going to demonstrate how to use a pipeline 
to perform ent entity linking on a given text so let's specify that so you see we are just getting some text it's a random text which is some gold medal and tour de france so let me run it it is just going to put it in that variable should not take too long then we are going to check the output the spans of the mentions let's try it out so this is where we are just checking um, the spans of the mention found in the text and the corresponding entity which is a wikipedia page title so this text has appeared here in these wikipedia page titles so also if you want to load the e5 base version 2 index which has vectors of around size uh, dimension 768 we can opt for a reduced number of entities um, and for that let's clear the memory which we and for that we are simply calling that function clean memory and if you use google colab frequently with G4, t4 gpu i would highly suggest you copy that function and use it often in your notebooks and by the way i will give you the link to this notebook so don't worry about it now what i'm going to do i'm going to load the e5 base v2 index and then we can opt for a reduced number of entities for example our full wikipedia index consists of 5.9 million entries which do not fit on the free google colab instance so what we are going to do we are going to load an index with 2 million entries containing the top 2 million most popular entities in wikipedia and for that you can do something like this here again we are using that and really entity linking base instead of the small one and then you can see that it is downloading it it's the same thing which we did above if you just want to use small one you can just skip and keep it to the small one so let's wait for it it is going to take a bit of a time and that is all done now you can simply again do the same check with the text and i just have given it some of the text here let it run we can just check it on that text and then you can simply use the spans to check how much spans are there where are the mentions and stuff let me run it it is going to show us the results there you go now so this is what we do with entities now let's check out relation extraction relation extraction is a task that involves identifying and categorizing the relationship between entities in a text and they also have a model for relation extraction and we are going to use that pipeline with relic that features again same retriever and the same reader which i mentioned above so let's first load the pipeline on the gpu and it's the same sort of similar pipeline again we are using this extraction model and then we are using coda in the half precision let's wait for it it is going to download it don't take too long these are very lightweight and small ones as you can see almost there and that is done let's pass on just a text onto the relic and we're just passing it the same similar chunk of text you can pass your own if you like now let's check out the relations and the relations now we are looking for are found in the triplets field of the relic output object which we have just did so just print the triplets here and there you go so it has shown us the relationship here as you can see this is the relationship here difference and then it goes on and on if you just go on the side with it will tell you a lot of other stuff and also the score that how much confidence is there this is a high confidence this is mm, so so confidence okay so now another cool thing which you can do with it you can also do closed information extraction closed information extraction involves extracting structured information from a text using a predefined set of entities and relationship types again they have another pipeline model for it which is really like cie small which is a lightweight pipeline designed for the closed information extraction let me show you how it works let's first clean the memory which means that we are we are just freeing up our gpu memory and then we are going to download the model pipeline and again you see that this is what i was talking about for the closed information extraction or cie i'm just putting it in half precision on my cuda device it is almost there let's wait for it to finish and the procedure is 
same for all of it we simply download the pipeline then once that's done we give it a text and then by using relic out we check out the entity linking pipeline so let's wait for it to get downloaded pipeline is loaded let's get our text here and the same we are just using this relic output shouldn't take too long we are just tokenizing it and then when it's when it's done which is it which it is we are going to check out the entities in the span fields same process let's check out the entities and there you go these are our entities in the same text also if you check want to check out the relationships you can again check it with the triplets just like we did above there you go see these are our relationships with the confidence score of course so all in all you can see that it is very easy now to extract entities and their relationships from uh, any sort of text with this pipeline and the models which are really really quite performant quite lightweight you can even fit them on your google colab i will drop the link to it in video description you can also play around with the notebook and see how it goes if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching